This tutorial shows how to add sound to an object using Active Inspire. On my next page I have a photo I've already added. Now to add a sound to this picture um, I need to select my picture and then I need to go to my browsers and select my action browser and go to the top drop down menu and select document media actions. Now I want to open a a sound so open document file or sound and then I go down to action properties at the bottom of that menu click on the browser box this brings up a select file dialog box for me and I want to select my sounds folder that comes with Active Inspire and it does come with some sounds in it I have extra sounds in here and these are things I've just downloaded from the internet you can google a .wav file and it will bring up lots of sites for you to download sounds from. You can pick and choose what you want. Here I want to add the Big Ben sound wave or sound file. So I'll open that and then I'll go down the bottom of my action browser and click apply changes. Must apply changes. That brings up the insert file dialog box. Now I could store this file externally leave it where it is or I could store the file in the flip chart because it's a small file I want to store it in the flip chart if it was a big one I probably wouldn't bother and just go OK so when I click on this now I should get when I click on my photo the sound of Big Ben I've also used this in a revision situation with uh, one of my science classes where I had the students picking which were the bases so they did this as a group activity first and they decided which of these these bases these substances on the right were bases or not then what I did was I um, attached sounds to each of these and they would just click on these and uh, they would get a response so if they were correct they get something like this yes! and if they're incorrect they get something like this oh no and it was quite a good response and to take that to a higher order thinking level we discussed why h2so4 wasn't a base and saw how that fitted in and why precisely something like naoh is a base